special. I can put my faith in nobody. You the reason I can't love nobody. Pull up to the spot, they know my body. You keep taking advice, you gonna have nobody. But I never tell nobody. The things I was going through at the time and the transition, like from Ben Nice, it's like, it just sound like it wasn't me, like the person I was becoming. It was, I was like just really staying true to myself. So I went from Ben Nice to K Davis. It's my government. So, you know, I just shortened it. Like, so as I matured and I, and I grew, I just stay true to myself. And I'm just, from here on out, you're just getting me. So I am K Davis. I went to with my man Kasim, uh Fat Boy to a gig he had. He was shooting and stuff like that, and I was just fascinated. I'm like, oh, that's not too bad. Like, I ain't had no job. I was, you know, trying to get it. And I seen when he collected at the end of the night. I'm like, damn, like this what it is. This what it could be. So I said, I'ma learn that. Probably two weeks later, when he got a camera, he showed me a few things after that watching tutorials and I just went from there. That's all. Um, me and Joe, everything happened social media. I really be on there like networking and all that, like not just bullshitting, but really networking. And I hollered at, I think one of his artists, Jacob Santana, I hollered at him like, yo, let me shoot a video and all that. When Joe reached back to me, I was like, all right, let's get it. Like, set it up. Hit me up, boom, boom, boom. Give me a number. We exchanged numbers. And ever since then, we've been A1. See the, the Who's House Entertainment, all that. I'm part of that. Happy to be part of that. And we just been going. We've been rocking since then. Traveling together, making money together. Like, just grinding. And I respect that. Directing is cool and all that. Like I still got passion for it, but now it's like, like I said, since I've been going through a lot, and it's like, this is another music is another another avenue for me to take, like just to vent and express myself. I really don't be having nobody to talk to. Like I hang with like two, three people. They like my brothers to talk to them on a deli, but outside of that, it's just me. Like who can I really talk to? So I started just writing how I feel and, and the music. And it just comes so natural. It, it just be, it don't take no time. It just flow. It's, just, it's real. Like everything that I'm giving y'all, everything y'all heard is it, organic. Like it's me, K. Davis. And I'm just giving you my story, what I'm going through. That's all. Um, I be going through stuff like any other human go through stuff on some time alone. Too busy on the grand that wasn't healthy. It's like I was falling, falling right in line with, with the circuit. So I had to distance myself a little bit, like you know, get back to reality. Like you know, Instagram was taking up too much of my time. Social media period was taking up too much of my time. And I wasn't really focused how I should have been. You know, a little distracted and all that. So I had to get back to reality. That's all. I want to do both. I believe I can do both. Uh, I don't see why not, but uh, I'm going however far God allows me to go. Like, I'm going to still continue to travel, uh, still build relationships with people, um, and just give it my all. Like, I'm not I'm not slowing up for nobody no more. I'm not letting nobody hold me back. That was, a, that was my problem, like letting certain people hold me back from chasing my dream or doing what I got to, or, you know, like what I'm passionate about. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like. It was coming to a stop. That's why I had got off the gram and all that. It was certain people in my my life that was like, you know, distracting me and stuff like that, and not let me progress. You know. Um, shout out to old Philly. I don't really be paying attention to a lot, a lot of rappers and stuff like that in the city. It be a bunch of hatred stuff going on and egos or um. Shout out to Fox. Shout out to uh, the whole All Money Pound. Uh, Crime Children, me and the, um, I mean, a 6 7 cut. Um, it's really about it. Not too many people that I'm proud with. Shout out to uh, Reese Buck, Murder Gang. Um, 
that's really about it. But working with people, I, I work with just about damn near everybody in the city, like behind the scenes, like even not not even on the music side of things, like on other shit, like videos and all that shit. Like my resume speaks for itself, and that's not you know be big or nothing. But I I work about just about everybody, but on the upcoming projects and stuff that I got, like. Same old, same old people, you know. A lot of people be ego tripping and stuff, so I stick to my, my circle. Um, yeah, I don't even like to call like call people fans. I don't, I don't like that word at all. Like supporters, yeah, but fans, I don't got no fans. I got supporters, but um, yeah, I got a project I'm working on. Well, that shit done for real, for real. It's called Pressure. Like I said, just giving y'all my life story, what I've been going through like for the last couple months and shit over the year and all that. So I'm just giving y'all that, man. That's that's gonna be heavy. I think about five, six tracks tops, all heat and genuine. It's real, like nothing, no cap in my raps at all. Like not one line, not one like, and I write my own shit and all that. So yeah, that's gonna be everywhere. All major platforms, videos dropping, Zay shooting my videos. Uh, Fat boy shoot my videos and that's just it. Like that's my team, man. Like and we coming. Like shout out to Joe. Appreciate you, Joe. Um, who else? The whole, the whole Simmons, man. Everybody. Um, Red Rum. Um, Zay. Uh, 370. I, that's my team, man. I really don't mess with too many people or run with a, run with a whole gang, but that's my my team right there. And we coming there. I want to be focused. I feel like I was holding people back and, and you know like. He was dependent on me, so I'm begging him.